Hello guys, welcome to Arduino Projects. Today I will show you how you can control your DC motor using a joystick and L29 3D motor driver IC using an Arduino. So let's start. Arduino, joystick, DC motor and a breadboard. So I have used here X and Y axis joystick. You can just control your DC motor in X axis, this is X axis and in Y axis. So let's start. The L29 3D IC have 16 pins. These 8 pins are used to connect one motor and these 8 pins are used to connect another motor. So the first pin is enable pin used to control the speed of the DC motor that's uh, using PWM then second pin is IA input A pin this will go to Arduino as the other motor drivers has input 1, 2, 3, 4 similarly this also have the 4 input pins that is input A, input B, input C and input D the second pin is input A this will go to Arduino the third pin and the sixth pin these two pin will be connected to DC motor and the fourth pin and the fifth pin are shorted to ground so the seventh pin is input B this also will go to Arduino pin number eight is unregulated voltage we can call this as a VCC also so we can connect uh, 5 volt to 36 volt to L29 3D and this is the voltage which we'll be using to drive the motor on the other side we have UV that is unregulated voltage same as pin number 8 so we will not be using this thing we will connect this to a 5 volt of the Arduino and pin number 10 is ID input D this will go to Arduino pin number 11 and 14 will be connected to motor pin number 12 and 13 are shorted to ground and pin number 15 is input C this will go to Arduino pin number 16 is unable to pin so we can connect two DC motors here and the speed of that motor will be controlled using the unable one and unable two pins so I will show you the connection so here's the connection so as you can see here I have connected a few jumpers to the IC the pin number four and five here pin number four and five these two pins are connected to ground this is my ground line and the last pin that is unregulated voltage VCC I have connected to a separate line so that I can connect the voltage similarly on the other side the pin number 12 and the pin number 13 pin number 12 and the pin number 13 I have connected to ground this is my ground line and pin number 9 and pin number 16 this is my unregulated voltage pin number 9 and pin number 16 I have connected to 5 volt I will be connecting only one DC motor so I will not require this part of the IC I will just only connect to this part so let's start so now let's connect the L293D to the Arduino so I have used one enable pin to control the speed of the motor so pin number one this is the first pin of the IC this I will connect to the PWM pin of the Arduino that's pin number three okay so now I will connect the input pin to Arduino 
so I have said there are two inputs pin on the one side of the IC that is pin number two pin number two this will go to pin number five pin number four of the Arduino the second input pin is pin number seven so I will connect the pin number seven to pin number five of the Arduino now let's connect the DC motor here is the DC motor so, pin number three and pin number six are the pins to connect the motor pin number three and pin number six now I will make the ground common uh, from here I will take one wire to the other side of the IC so here I have made the ground common this wire goes to ground and the yellow wire goes, makes the ground common on the other side so we want one 5 volt wire to connect on the unable pin of the other side we will connect the joystick to the Arduino the first two pins that is black and orange are the voltage pin and the second two pins blue and the black one these two pins are the signal pins so I will connect this the black one that is ground to the ground on the breadboard as I have made the ground common on the breadboard the orange pin this I will connect this to 3.3 volt of the Arduino now I will connect the signal pins to the Arduino so the X axis VRX this pin blue one will go to A0 and the Y axis VRY will go to A1 of the Arduino power up the IC with 12 volt battery so now I will upload the code let's see how it works Please like and subscribe my video and just download the, the circuit diagram and the code from the description below. Thanks for watching.